hello good morning and good afternoon and good night depending on your time zone i am called in the nye i hope you are having a wonderful time we are going to discuss about um, nigeria we are going to discuss about anambra state and we are going to discuss about the meeting of uh, the governor of Anambra State with uh, Anambra and the Anambra um, people living a group in uh, Lake um, Ikoi area that uh, invited the governor for a chat. We are going to be discussing about that and uh, I hope you will also contribute to your own quota in our discussion in the comment section because it's very very important for us to uh, talk about it it's very very vital for us to discuss uh, this issue because um, as um, this year is very very important for the development of the homeland um, all hands must be on deck to make sure that the homeland is uh, uh, developed in a way that will be very very wonderful and um, it been a, a beautiful morning not too bright but it's uh, been windy it been um, windy and uh, the whole night uh, it's like rain and uh, so much rain and uh, it's still windy at this time and uh, been a little, it's a little cold, it's quite cold actually. But um, we thank God for um, our wonderful day, and uh, that's uh, how it is. So, I don't know how you are in your area, but um, I tell you that today is uh, a marvelous uh, day again, it's a marvelous uh, day tell you that it's a wonderful day and I also wish you a wonderful a wonderful time so um, so we are going to discuss about this but I'm going to read out the the in our uh, the communication our community or the information concerning this that was uh, the press released actually um, I'm going to read it out so as I read it out we will um, we'll now go into the main discussion and we'll discuss several issues and those issues we will um, as we discuss about it and uh, we will uh, um, actually find uh, something that can help be helpful for everyone I can see them cycling. You can see how organized this place is. Uh, you can see how organized the place is. So we are going to first of all uh, read out the information. As we read out the information, we are going to. Um, we are going to carry on our our interactive session and uh, I hope you will enjoy it actually remember our homeland must be livable it must be prosperous it must be a final destination not a departure uh, 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 area it must not be a departure point but it must be it must be a, a livable area a final destination so let's just um, let me just read out some of the the communication released uh, sorry about that day I'm trying to bring out the, the stuff so I'm going to read out uh, the information for you to you know to have an idea what we are going to 
this course it says Anambra needs you so Ludo urged in the Anambra to fuel homeland rice Anambra needs you so Ludo urged in the Anambra to fuel homeland rice building on his uh, wavering commitment to collaborate to collaborative development governor chukuma soludo addressed the anambra in lagos on january 20 2024 he expressed gratitude for their initial response to his call for unified public private community partnership but with how fair conviction urged them to amplify their impact soludo firmly believe that the collective entrepreneurial spirit and resources of the Anambra holds the key to propelling the state's economy to new heights. By strategically investing in the homelands infrastructure and developing communities, our people will, own, will not only secure their own future, but also lay the foundation for generations to come. As this partnership we have the way we have the way for a thriving prosperous homeland a beacon of uh, opportunity and a destination worthy of its ambition hosted by the koi lake bridge group soludo proudly outlined his administration journey so far and notable achievement within the five solution pillars, security, law and order, infrastructure, economic transformation, environment, human capital and social agenda, and governance and value system. This accomplishment attained within just 12 mo 20 months after a compelling testament to government's dedication and efficacy. However, for Soludo, this is merely the prologue now is the time to push beyond initial progress and translate collective potentials into transformative action. He implores successful and enterprising Indianambra to infuse their entrepreneurial spirit into the events of Anambra's infrastructure projects and human capital development. This is not just about individual gain, it is about building a lasting legacy to future generations. Anambra beckons is potentially bringing answer to call invest locally on last year entrepreneurial spirit and witness Anambra saw with unparalleled momentum that was released by the media special media assistant to the governor and their uh, uh, it was released to the press about his uh, uh, discussion with the with the Lake uh, Lake Ikoi Bridge Group of Danambra uh, living in Lagos. So we are going to discuss. I think we might call this uh, Soludo call on Danambra living in Lagos to invest massively in Anambra State. So now we are going to discuss this. We've been hearing over the years uh, many governors uh, calling on the Anambra to invest massively in the state uh, without um, uh, an organized plan for that. Uh, there is a group plan, there is organized individual plans and other community-based plans. They have to have a fashion uh, plan uh, and functional areas where they will uh, get them to invest in a way of uh, having a, a workout plan that will have a timeline of investment and all those areas that uh, Anambra State has a comparative, uh, comparative uh, advantage especially that Anambra State dominates uh, so many uh, areas of enterprise in Lagos, in Nigeria and many other parts of the world is targeting those in, uh, uh, in Lagos. Sorry about the noise, it's uh, a bit windy today. It's
is a bit windy today and but we will try to bring this vlog for you because we want to uh, continue engaging in this uh, in this uh, homeland's uh, consciousness and the homeland development so uh, you can see the massive tree you can see the tree you can see this tree you can see how massive this is massive this is you see how the tree is sheltering this place in spite I lost most of its uh, leaves because of the winter but notwithstanding the tree is still standing strong uh, that's exactly what uh, we expect that uh, although Anambra lost uh, a lot of his uh, citizen to many parts of the world in Lagos they gone in there and invest all without thinking of home but now Anambra is still standing but now is the time to uh, bring the wealth home between 20 to 30 percent heading to 50 percent um, but the government of Anambra there are many ways they can do that we heard about the Akuluno in many communities that's uh, what he's talking about uh, public private uh, community partnership but we have to, as he's talking about these uh, cities, is developing. So if he's going to talking about those cities, is developing. Now is the time that he has to also look at uh, setting up uh, areas people can invest as a group, like that uh, uh, Lake Ikoi uh, Bridge Group, led by Chide Anyebu Chisko, I think. So um. They have to fashion a way uh, getting them as a group to invest. So, because you can actually get uh, something like uh, there might be a hundred of them, hundreds of them in that group, or thousands of them living in that uh, uh, Ikoi and the Lake. So now you can actually fashion out a business uh, uh, park that will involve uh, investment in different uh, things. So that business park, you might have something like uh, a thousand space business park. And, uh, and the government will develop the infrastructure there. And uh, as the government develop the infrastructure there, what will happen is this. It will now uh, start giving it out, um, you know, uh, selling the shares, or distributing the shares uh, or making it as a share uh, a share partnership with the people with that group and other groups in Lagos uh, you can hear about some of the groups in Lagos trying to build market together in Anambra state that's very good but we also need industrial production because what we need to focus now because that's where we have also a great uh, um, great uh, advantage so we need to uh, invest on industrial production making things producing things I think that's what we need to focus on that's where we actually need to focus on not just uh, building market we need to build uh, business parks we need to build uh, something that can create wealth something that can create wealth something that can you know impart uh, building of wealth or building and um, you know increasing the potentials so um the other time we discussed about uh, the uh, a billion dollar on nature uh, aquaculture uh, or fish uh, business fish industry which need to be uh, uh, revamped or renewed so these are areas that the government can actually uh, map out those area for this that can produce billions of fishes and uh, now get those people to invest on them get them to invest on them that's how you can actually help to bring the wealth home so you can actually map out areas for agricultural development and production. 
you you know by so doing the people you now invite the people as a group for them to have share uh capitals on that to take up share capitals on that so the government will take a minority share of between three percent on these businesses so they can also start up something like you look at the uh the businesses in uh in uh, main market you can see that there are a lot of uh, businesses that are going on there but a lot of them are import uh, driven so the government can fashion a way that most of these businesses they have to uh start having a place where those most of those things will be produced locally and by so doing engaging those living abroad to get their resources to get their resources uh, uh, back and once they get their resources back it will help uh, change the narrative it will help to change the narrative so it, it will help to uh, uh, bring them and they will build confidence because they, they will be uh, uh, a better understanding that once the government is involved in this that this government is that uh, business or this investment is not something that will be revoked or something else so it's very important that uh, Soludo should be uh, should uh, have a clear cut understanding a clear, a, a clear cut plan on what he is trying to uh, do so because uh, with that it will actually help out to uh, get the, the, the homeland going get the homeland moving in the right direction so there are a lot of areas that we are lacking in um, in the in, in the homeland uh, we can also develop uh, 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 resorts resorts we can also develop resource where the government will create resource similar to what people go abroad to to uh, to enjoy so like uh, all these Dubai uh, resorts and all those things, it can create it and get the citizens to, uh, as a group, those in Lagos to uh, get involved by investing on them. So that's what they need to, he need to be doing. It's very, very vital for him to be doing that. So it's very, very vital for him to do that. Another area is to uh, get a, uh, uh, um, um, a health park, a health business park. This health business park, he will fashion it in a way that um, will be that he um, encourage development of uh, a lot of hospitals, groups of hospitals between 50 and 100 with uh, research institutions and all those things. So he, he might be developed in a way that uh, he will now encourage investors from Lagos. They will now get involved in it. And as they get involved in it, it will um, help, um, it will help to, uh, uh, it will build more confidence for them to invest. Because as you, as you were, uh, as you know, that once the government get involved in something and develop a clear path for that, people tend to invest. Like uh, near the Chino Achebe uh, International Passenger and Cargo Airport, they can develop uh, a health park or health business park where hospitals and uh, and other uh, health institutions, research institutions will be built. So a space for between 50 to 100 of them. So now, you now go, for instance, to this uh, Ikoi, uh, Lake Ikoi Bridge Group, and say to them, look, I have I've actually put this, this thing on, this is the plan, and we are looking at uh, you investing on it. So the investment will be shared uh, and uh, shared by this ratio, by this ratio, that the government will have, um, will facilitate 
getting uh, the land, getting the roads, uh, key infrastructures before the people start investing on it. And they, they can also bring in other investors, foreign investors to invest. So there, they now produce um, a mega uh, area for health. And this will now bring in so much economic potentials, economic, uh, uh, economic growth to the state. So that's very, very important. As well as we are pursuing Akulono in different communities, um, this is one area that they have to look into. Because if you can have uh, between 50 to 100 hospitals in one area, and these hospitals offer different services, uh, surgeries and a lot of things, and uh, a lot of other things, what you will get is that at the end of the day, there will be a lot of uh, employment, there will be a lot of work, there will be a lot of uh, improvement on the uh, health system, and there will be um, health tourists coming, tourism, health tourism, that will be uh, will be uh, so much in the in the state. So um, other areas are like uh, the garments, textiles, and garment uh, production. Uh, most of the garments uh, or clothing imported in Nigeria are from China, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and many countries. So now the government can also help to get a business park for that, whereby these uh, garments will be uh, like a gyms will be uh, produced locally. So when they do this business uh, park for that, they will now invite these Lego groups, Lagos uh, based in the Anambra to invest on that as a group. So once they invest on that, that's how you bring your um, capital home. That's how you bring your capital home. It can also uh, have areas of uh, 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 entertainment. Our uh, lot of Anambra are the Anambra are mostly promoters of big time entertainment. So they can also um, get this uh, Nollywood uh, entertainment hub at Onicha up and running. They have to get it up and running, building a, 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 um, a ICT a, a convention uh, hub there that can take like 10,000 to 20,000 people. Having a, um, a bigger auditorium or arena with a lot of other things uh, in it so the people can invest in these things. So what I'm trying to explain is that you need to create where people will be investing on. So you need to create where people will be investing on. Creating it, opening it up, and inviting the people to invest on them. So when you invi invite them as a group, and also invite them individuals, that will help because they now have an opportunity to invest in that. I know they have been doing it on uh, on. Uh, on land, uh, estate, uh, this thing, but we can continue building estate all over the place. Yes, estate, I know, building industry, but, but still we need proper manufacturing. We need to manufacture things in the homeland. We need to manufacture a lot of things in the homeland. And for us to manufacture, it must be a very, very determined government policy to help on that. So, and we must also, uh, you know, try to uh, add value to some of the products, some of the things that are agricultural products in the state. Because the state actually uh, produce a few ad agricultural things that can be, uh, values can be added on them. And you can add value on them without uh, uh, government uh, having um, a determined effort towards that. So, Soludo urging them to uh, to come and help is good, but he need to water the ground much more. And the uh, areas of uh, infrastructure should be expanded. 
uh, in our nature now, I know he awarded so many roles, but he need to broaden those roles, especially uh, some of the interconnection of those roles in our nature, to make more, to help to expand our nature more and more, the greater our nature. So you need to look at also the environment, so that as it tidy our nature, our nature can compete with any city in the world. I'm telling you, if uh, the government is bold enough on our nature, like what, what we discussed the other day about um, dualizing that Niger Niger Street that he is uh, he has just completed, linking it to Zix Avenue, that Zix Avenue in our nature it should be dualized and joining to the dualized OP worker. And that that more street that is still single lane, he should actually uh, get rid of those uh, houses with compensation paid, so that it will be dualized till to the, the main market. It will be dualized to the main market and get all those slums uh, taken away. So by doing that, what will happen is that you already um, expanded on it and make it more attractive. That those they are coming in, um, you are bringing from Lagos will now uh, will now see that uh, they are uh, that the economy of the of the place is being expanded. They are now bringing their wealth, and you must also create a place for headquarters of government. So the government uh, must look at the bank of the river Niger or the new city of Onitsha Nature Point Two. They are creating and start to uh, build uh, one or two uh, skyscraper. As a sample of where the headquarters of companies will be. So now, when they build that, they now have a space for 100 of it. So now, the, you now invite all those billionaires to also to invest on that. So we, we need to be very proactive in these things. We need to be proactive in these things. We need to be, uh, and also, we can also create the lake in, uh, uh, in our nature. We have all similar thing in, uh, in Apaka, Shuka. Stroke, uh, stroke tre tre, and uh, Nkise. We can actually tidy up those areas and make it so much that it's so secure, so nice that uh, a lot of billionaires that used to be in our nature will come back to be there again. So we must be proactive. We must also be passionate about it. And um, I don't know what again, but we will see in the comment section so that we we'll discuss. We continue to discuss. I am Codley NYE. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so that we will continue to bring you more, more and more. Thank you very much.